Well, hello. Uh, I forgot to press record during our session today, so I'm just going to say it all again. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. We, uh, I want to go over the lesson plans real quick for the rest of the uh, rest of the school year. Actually, I've updated it. So let me do that. I hate that I forgot to hit record. But yeah, as they say, when you have to do something twice, it's always better the second time. So let's hope that's the case. Okay, there's our study, there's our uh, lesson plan for this week. This is all the same, pretty much assignments. I've get, I've given you a grammar assignment, an intro assignment that's due Wednesday at the end of the day. So that's pages 227 to 229. So complete your uh uh, you watch the video intro, you do the assignments on your own, and then you answer the, the questions in the quiz, uh, homework quiz that's on LMS. And then it's also telling you that you need to be working on your chapter 16 study guide. It's the last, we're skipping 14 and 15. We're going straight to 16. It's our last chapter of the book. So be working on your study guide for that. If you look at uh, what's due, it says uh, chapter 16 study guide is going to be due May the 12th. That's Tuesday of next week, and we're going to have a test over it on the 13th, which is Wednesday of next week. And Wednesday is the last day of instruction for the school year. So that'll be the last thing we do. Um, it is called, L, the test is called LT16. Study guide in LMS is called SG16. Uh, uh, and then this Friday, your final draft of To Kill a Mockingbird is due. Please get that finished and uploaded to me. And I will uh, start grading them. Probably I won't get them graded till well into uh, probably the end of next week because I've got so much to do for the seniors. Okay, now then we've got another intro that's going to be due on Sunday. So beginning Thursday, I'll have the video ready and you can do the intro uh, for two, uh, 2.30 to 2.32. And again, you'll watch the video, you'll do the work on your own, and then you'll go into. Uh, GHD 230-232 in LMS and answer the quiz questions, okay? And that is due on uh, Sunday right there, okay? And you're still working study guide. You've still got a uh, study guide to do the 12th and the test on the 13th. Now, next week, your To Kill a Mockingbird will be turned in on Friday. Next week, oh, that's the wrong direction. We are not going to have that Zoom. Okay, we're not going to have a Zoom next week. So I've, I'm marking that off. Um, you've got the review of the first assignment, 227 to 229. You're going to watch my video, correct all of your answers, and upload the pictures. You're going to do that again, 230 to 230, uh, for 230 and 232. So the second assignment, the one we did that was due Sunday, we're gonna do the review, correct your answers, upload the photos to LMS, um, finish up that study guide by the end of day Tuesday and get that turned into SG16. On Wednesday, you're gonna take the literature test 16 and then you're required to have a great summer after that. So now if you have a, a D or an F in the class, you have to take my final exam. The final exam is gonna be three essay questions and you're gonna to have to write a page for each question. It's something that would be wonderful to avoid if you don't have to take it. Um, you can take it, see if you have a C or better. So if, and I want you to, if you want to, if you want to bring your grade up a letter grade or something like that, if you're you know close to an A and you wanna get that A, then, then you should take it. I just need to know probably the 12th or the 13th so that I can have it ready for the 14th or 15th, okay? Um, so anyway, that's the that's the uh, the plan for this week and next week. I have two other things. Well, first, also catch up that work. If you've got stuff missing, the only thing you can't up uh, you can't resubmit are the things that start with GP because all the answers are in the GRP assignment. So anything with GP, if you didn't do it on time, you can't make that up. That's going to have to stay a zero. But I've got a lot of assignments. A lot, lot of assignments. So all the rest you can up, you can submit late, and I'll give you credit. 
Okay. So get everything done you can. I would love to give everybody an A. That would make me extremely happy. I don't get any joy out of giving someone uh, you know, a less than stellar grade. So just if you get something done, send me a note, uh, an email, and I will uh, put it in my stack and eventually I'll get to it and get it graded for you. Okay. Two things unrelated to English. First is, um, you know, we lost Miss Lil last night. She passed away. She's been with us since 1987. She substitute taught here whenever I was a student at SCA. She's a lovely, lovely person. Wonderful person. I love her so much. Um, in fact, after her husband died, um, every fall, she has given me a, a check. She's put it in my box and said that she wanted it to go to the music department, music and drama department, because she believed in what we were doing and she knew there weren't many uh, patrons of that area. Um, she, she was just a really, really wonderful person. It means a lot to me. So next Monday is the very last Lion Week program, and I just don't think it'd be right to, to have that program without some sort of tribute to her. So if you feel like, um, you know, you'd like to do something, you'd like to say a little something sweet about her, just do it, send it to me, um, and I'll get it in there. Now, it's not for an extra credit, you know, it's not, it's not required. It's just an opportunity for you to publicly say something sweet about her if, if you want to. Now, don't feel like you have to because if you didn't know her well, you know, some of you haven't been around a while or you haven't had an occasion to have her uh, substitute for you or anything like that. So, you know, it's okay. We can't put everybody in there anyway. But um, I just want to leave that open. And similarly, uh, this is also the last opportunity to say something about a teacher. And we've been running, last week we started running teacher thank yous. If you want to say thank you to a teacher, that's awesome. I know that Mr. Walthon and Ms. Linville uh, have not been mentioned yet. And so if you got, want to say something about them, that's great. But really any teacher, because the other teachers have only been mentioned once. Any, any area too, go down to elementary if, you, if you're an aide or something like that, because none of the elementary teachers have been mentioned. I would love it if you'd do that. And that's all I have as far as things to, in, to tell you the to do or opportunities. But I do want to say that I think you're wonderful. I loved this class. I think you're, you're a classy group of people. Uh, for the most part, you're very hardworking. Um, I do like that you are fun loving and you're kind to each other. Um, you're very kind to each other. That makes me proud of you. And I hope we see every one of you back next year uh, because we wouldn't be quite as good without you. I love you and I hope you have a great summer and hope you stay safe and, uh, and I hope your family is safe and I pray for them too. Okay. I want you to have a great, great summer and I love you. See ya.